Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I've got a email question from Elle. Elle says, is it symptomatic of what Abraham Hicks calls split energy? When initially launching my desire to the universe, reattracting my ex specific person, is it considered split energy if one thinks of it as I desire to reunite or connect with my specific person or someone like him or her or better? Okay. Yes, if you're doing the I want them but something better can come in. I know a lot of people say this is something better. That was a statement that was made a lot around the 90s. And at the turn of the year 2000, that was a statement that was made regularly about manifesting a job or a person for a relationship. Okay, now, if you believe that, remember your beliefs drive everything. So if you believe that, then you will get evidence of that. Okay, but I'm going to say, I think it is splitting your energy because you're saying you want a specific person, but then it's like, well, I'll keep my options open and I will open the back door and invite in someone new. There is no right or wrong with this, remember, okay? Either way, it's what you believe that drives the bus, okay? So I do think it splits your energy because if you're doing imaginal scenes about being with a specific person, then you can't be doing imaginal scenes about someone you don't know as well okay you you can't be living in two tracks at the same time you're splitting your energy and you're splitting your focus okay when you split your focus it's diluted when it's diluted you don't bring something in as clearly and as specifically as you would like it to be if you have a specific in mind okay and in this case you did so Hicks does say to remain general because often specific is difficult. Yes, yeah, some people find it hard, especially with an ex, because you've had issues with that ex, that's why you split up. So when you think of the general, I'm in a loving, committed, kind, caring relationship, sometimes for people that feels easier than focusing on a specific person. That's what Hicks is talking about there. So, specific is difficult at times when allowing the right person to flow into your experience who is a vibrational match at just the right time that you're feeling good. The universe delivers all better if your ongoing thoughts during positive affirmations, gratitude prior to receiving and imaginal scenes include thoughts of or better or someone like him or her. So, that isn't saying deep down you don't believe enough that you can't have what you really want which is the specific person so i look from experience i'm just going to share from experience wanting a specific person if you focus and you put your total 100 percent focus on that then you can attract that person okay in my experience it has worked okay now i want to say this but we do not have power to control we do have power of influence through imagining and through our self-love and through radiating love out to someone it definitely can work if you can let go of control okay the the control being i have to have that person at all costs and i can't be happy unless i get them that is a red flag okay the red flag being you've pinned all your happiness onto another human being and it is their responsibility to make you feel happy if you don't have them you're devastated and unhappy and if they're there you feel elated and amazing and in love Okay, now, when you understand that love is within you, the other person is not responsible for your happiness. And therefore, you can be happy first. And when you are happy first, that's often when people come. 
when you can basically say with an earnest and honest heart, universe God of my understanding, I'm going to be happy irregardless of whether I get what I want because I know my happiness is not dependent on me getting this person or this job or the money or the trip or the flat or the house or the whatever it is that you it's like you make peace Abraham Hicks says this all the time make peace with where you're at making peace with where you're at is so you feel better right now in the journey day by day moment by moment segment by segment you're not disturbed you see okay so when you can do that you've actually achieved the state of I am happiness now I am loved now and I don't need someone else to be here for me to feel that way and that I think is the ultimate freedom okay when you can feel loved and happy whether the person you want to be with if you have someone specific is there or not if you can really genuinely be happy and not be dissatisfied or feel unloved or feel unwanted or not good enough you've achieved freedom within your own self you're no longer dependent on them and therefore you can be a really good partner and that's the lesson that they teach you wanting a specific person teaches you that if you're willing to learn it so let me go back to this so you said if you're ongoing thoughts saying deep down you don't believe enough that you can have what you really want which is a specific person as such wouldn't this suffocate or delay your manifestation yes I think it's that not believing enough is like that dissatisfaction and that dissatisfaction of I don't believe I can get what I want I don't believe I can be happy without this I don't believe that I'm good enough I don't believe that I'm lovable deep down I really don't believe that I'm lovable you see so I do think those things do suffocate the manifestation I like the way you use that word because it's like it just snuffs it out so because yes you're doubting what you're asking for yes but really what you're asking for is you want this person because you deeply want to feel the love between you but if you distill that a bit further you really want to feel loved within and you're not so you think if I get them I can get that love and I can feel that love and I can then feel good but the thing is the specific person teaches you that they are not your answer because they often move away from you that's why many of you come to YouTube and look these subjects up is that they teach you how unloved you really really feel and they mirror it to you so harshly that you cannot escape the pain anymore now that looks like a bad thing in the short term but I will say it is a really good thing because you then have to face that darkness of feeling the fear of abandonment the fear of loneliness the fear of being unloved the fear of being unwanted you got to face those fears that so many of us have and that we keep looking for relationships to fill the void so if you can face that void when someone has left you and work on your self-love your self-worth and your feeling inadequate in the world as a human being if you can face that and work on that then you can break free and then whatever relationship you step into you are a real asset 
to that person you see so I love this train of thought it's it's such an interesting question that you've asked so you've said or does it really matter because the point is to get yourself to feeling good without your specific person yes never mind if they come or not yes it's not about actually achieving the manifestation but achieving the pure joy of being in alignment and happy but I would take it a step further because it's about love relationships it's about you wanting to really feel loved within so it's not just happiness it's feeling loved in your own marrow of your own bones that you feel loved as a human being on this planet that you matter and that you feel loved you see so yeah L this was a really good question and I think you know it, it is something to think about the split energy and I think if we can conserve our energy and the way you conserve it is by working on doing things that make you feel better and better and better like meditation self-love affirmations, self-love meditations looking after yourself physically doing things that make you feel good totally separate to a relationship and I can tell you when you're in a relationship and you can maintain your own self and you can maintain your own sense of self-love and you give that in the relationship wow you experience some incredible moments okay so when you listen to a lot of this stuff be mindful and ask yourself whoever I listen to have they actually been able to achieve this and do this because it's very easy to be on the outside and speculate but if you've never manifested a specific person if you don't know how it feels to have done that and I'm talking about a loving romantic relationship I'm not talking about you manifest your specific boss or you manifest your specific you know friend I'm talking about this area this very specific area specific person in the area of a romantic relationship because that's where a lot of people get their butts kicked badly so when you're listening to people tell you information doesn't matter whether it's a book or a YouTube or whatever the people that have done it will give you the best information because they will have walked in your shoes and they're on the other side of it so be mindful of that because I think that's a really important component as to the information that you get okay all right Thank you, Elle. Lovely question and lots of love. And I'll see you in the next YouTube.